بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم کشف الخیر فرام بی ایس کمیونسٹی ڈپارٹمنٹ اینڈ مائی آئی ڈی از زیرو ایٹین ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ دا ٹاپک آف انڈسٹریل کمیونسٹری وچ از دا مینوفیکچرنگ اینڈ دا یوزز آف ہائیڈروفلورک ایسڈ سو بیفور گوئنگ آن ورڈ لیٹ می انٹروڈیوس دا کانٹینٹ آف مائی پرزنٹیشن آئی ہیو ڈیوائڈیڈ مائی پرزنٹیشن انٹو فورتھ پارٹس In the first part, I am going to tell you the history of hydrofluoric acid. In the second part, I am going to tell you the chemical composition and the basic properties of hydrofluoric acid. In the third part, which is the manufacturing of hydrofluoric acid and it is the main topic of my presentation. In the fourth part, I am going to tell you the uses and the application of hydrofluoric acid in daily life. So, let's start with part 1, which is the discovery of hydrofluoric acid. Carl Wilhelm was the first to make large quantities of hydrofluoric acid and he discovered it during the investigation of fluorospar in 1771. Fluorospar is basically is the mineral form of calcium fluoride and it is used as a flux for smelting and in the production of certain glasses and enamels. Smelting is basically a process of extraction of metal from its ore by a process involved heating and melting. Here, this is a picture of Flores Bar. The second one discovery of Edmund Fermi. It was also a French chemist uh, and, it, he, and he was credited with discovering anhydrous hydrogen fluoride while trying to isolate fluorine. And the third one is Andre Marie Ampere. Uh, during his uh, investigation, uh, Flores Bar was then recognized to be calcium fluoride. French physicist that it was a compound of hydrogen with an unknown element analogous to chlorine for which the suggested name to that compound will be given as a fluorine. Next is part 2 which is the chemical composition of the hydrofluoric acid. So, hydrofluoric acid is a colorless gas or a liquid in appearance having irritating odor. Its chemical formula is HF. Its, smally, its molar mass is 20.006 gram per mole. It has a linear structure with dipole moment of 1.86. It is miscible with water but insoluble in ethers. Hydrofluoric acid is a weak acid mainly because it forms stable species after it associates into its ions in water. So it is a weak acid. This is the general formula of the hydrofluoric acid. We can see that. So, hydrofluoric acid is very strong, corrosive, reactive acid. It can readily react with bases, acids and oxidant. One of its best reaction is its corrosive dissolving effect on the glass and the ceramics which we call as etching. It is typically stored in plastic containers due to reactivity toward metals and glass. Hydrofluoric acid is colorless gas at density of 1.15 gram per liter and a liquid at a density of 0.99 gram per milliliter and liquid having a temperature below 20 degrees Celsius. The physical properties of hydrofluoric acid depends upon the concentration of the hydrofluoric acid in the aqueous solution. The third part and the main part of my presentation is the manufacturing of hydrofluoric acid. Basically, there are three direct manufacturing ways of hydrofluoric acid industry which include production uh, manufacturing of hydrofluoric acid from fluorospar and sulfuric acid manufacturing of hydrofluoric acid from bears ag method and the production of hydrofluoric acid by bus method so firstly we will see the production of hydrofluoric acid from fluorospar and sulfuric acid industrially hydrogen fluoride is manufactured from fluorospar and sulfuric acid in extremely heated rotatory tube furnaces which we called as ac grade the main grade of fluorospar available are crude or metallurgical grade, ceramic grade, acid grade, crystalline grade. But the mostly widely used grade is acid grade because it is the pure form of grade. The most demanded is the acid grade which is used as a raw material to produce hydrofluoric acid. Its worldwide production capacity being more than 3 million metric tons. Here is a general reaction that will occur in the, from the uh, fluorospar and sulfuric acid reaction. Here, calcium fluoride, which is a fluorospar, react with sulfuric acid to give us hydrofluoric acid and a calcium sulfate as a byproduct. 
The next is the manufacturing process of production of hydrofluoric acid from phosphor and sulfuric acid. So in the reaction we can see that the reaction is endothermic. The reaction is generally carried out in an indirectly heated rotatory tube furnace whose length up to 30 meter, diameter up to 3 meter at a high temperature and the temperature usually is about 200 degrees Celsius. The capacity of such rotatory heated furnace can be more than 45 ton hydrofluoric acid per day. So 3.8 ton of calcium sulfate which is an anhydride is produced per ton of hydrogen fluoride during the reaction. The reaction of solid fluorophor with liquid sulfuric acid produces a solid calcium sulfate and a gaseous hydrogen fluoride product. The reaction passes through a paste-like phase. Many reactor modifications have been developed to attain an optimal reaction in that phase. So, with the help of internal fitting in the rotatory tube, which we call the spirals or by kneading the reaction mixture in a needle, we can achieve a mixing in the phase. After leaving the furnace, the hydrogen fluoride formed is scrubbed with concentrated sulfuric acid, which is subsequently utilized in the reaction with fluorospar. So, in the scrubbing, the water in the hydrogen fluoride is removed by being bound by added to oleum. In the reaction, other process in this in the uh, uh, manufacturing process, other reactions are also occurs. So the small quantity of compounds such as carbonates or oxide oxides such as iron oxides in the fluorospar also react with the sulfuric acid. Here in the reaction we can see that there are a carbonate which will react with sulfuric acid to to give us calcium sulfate and water and carbon dioxide impurities. These impurities in fluorospar produce water and carbon dioxide in addition to silicon tetrafluoride produces from silicon dioxide. This is a flow sheet diagram of the manufacturing process of the hydrogen fluoride from fluorospar and uh, sulfuric acid. Firstly, dry fluorospar and sulfuric acid are fed into the rotatory kiln where an endothermic reaction occurs. And from here, hydro gaseous hydrogen fluoride and anhydride solid calcium sulfate will produce. This hydrogen fluoride gas will be converted into a washing column. From washing column, it moves toward the condenser where condensation will occur. So, and then there is a distillation column. In a distillation column, basically the impurities are removed that are present in the hydrofluoric acid. And after that, an hydrous solid will produce. This is an anhyd anhydrous hydrofluoric acid. And after that, the bombardment or we can say that addition of uh, water it will convert it into aqueous hydrofluoric acid so it is a flow sheet diagram of the manufacturing of hydrofluoric acid industrially the second manufacturing method is by using or by bare ag process the necessary process heat is supplied at several points in this process the following steps are followed during this process first there is a preheating of fluorospar by hot gas then the preheating of sulfuric acid by heat exchange with the raw and then the formation of gaseous hydrogen fluoride then there is addition of sulfuric sulfur trioxide as a uh, as a oleum to bind the water with sulfuric as uh, with uh, hydrofluoric acid and the, there is the heating of the rotatory tube furnaces so let's have a look at the uh, flow sheet diagram of the manufacturing by using bare edge process so what happens here basically preheated fluorospar and sulfuric acid are fed into the mixture where partial reaction will occur and the reaction will complete in the rotatory tube furnace and raw hydrofluoric acid and calcium sulfate will produce from that no then after that the raw hydrofluoric acid which is produced it will uh, it will scrub with sulfuric acid after that pure hydrofluoric acid is obtained by cooling of raw hydrofluoric acid if the hydrofluoric acid is not fully purified then it will further purified by post treatment step which is a distillation so the gas remaining after condensation is scrubbed with h2so4 
to remove residual hydrofluoric acid. After that, the gas that still contains silicon tetrafluoride is scrubbed with hydrofluoric acid to forward hexafluorosalicylic acid. This is the hexafluorosalicylic acid. So, after the scrubbing process, the gas which will still contain silicon tetrafluoride is scrubbed with hydrofluoric acid to form hexafluorosalicylic acid. And the hexafluorosalicylic acid is the byproduct in this reaction, in this process. The third manufacturing method of hydrofluoric acid is by using by bus. So, basically there is a pre-reduction of calcium fluoride and sulfuric acid in a needle at a low temperature. So, firstly there is a decomposition of fluorospar. Pre-reaction is carried out in continuously operating needle which is linked to an indirectly heated rotated tube furnace in which the reaction proceeds to completion. Then there is the heat supply step. The necessary heat is supplied by reaction by reacting sulfur trioxide with water to sulfuric acid in the reactor like in a fluidized bed process. The heat of the sulfuric acid formation thereby liberated provide much of the energy for the endothermic fluorosphere decomposition. The byproduct in these reactions are calcium sulfate and hydride. After that there is a neutralization with lime. Basically, the calcium sulfate leaving the rotatory tube furnace still contains excess sulfuric acid which is neutralized with lime. So, after treatment, this anhydride can be utilized easy in the lying of cement floors for infilling of mines or in the cement industry as a setting regulator. This is the hydrogen fluoride production in 1994 in 10 to 3 ton per year. So, the most or we can say that the full uh, or the most production of hydrofluoric acid in 1994 was done by USA after that Japan, Belgium, France and uh, so on. Then there is a large part of my presentation which is the uses of hydrofluoric acid. Basically, hydrofluoric acid is used in the formation of inorganic fluorides, in the formation of fluorohydrocarbons, and it, are, it are also used as a catalyst. So, firstly we will see how it is used in the inorganic production of inorganic fluorides. Inorganic fluorides such as aluminum fluoride, uranium tetrafluoride, sodium, sodium fluoride, boron trifluoride, ammonium hydrogen fluoride, and aqueous solution of hydrogen fluoride are obtained by using hydrogen fluoride and these inorganic fluoride are then used in the etching and polishing of glass in the metal cleaning in the electronics manufacturing in the pickling of steels in the manufacturing of semiconductor for removing rust herbicides etc the next is the fluorohydrocarbons organic fluorocompounds are the organic compounds that contain the carbon fluoride bond and the carbon fluoride bond is found in pharmaceutical, agrochemicals, fluoropolymers, refrigerants, surfactant, anesthetics, oil repellents. It is also used in the catalysis, also used in the water repellents. The next use is as a catalyst. We use hydrofluoric acid as a catalyst in various reactions. For example, in alkylation reaction like the dimerization of isobutane. This process is increasing in importance due to the rising demand of highly knock resistant fuel. So manufacturing is carried out by utilizing short chain crude oil fraction and we can see that hydrofluoric acid is used as a catalyst in this reaction. So thank you that's all from my side.